Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip, and today we're going to be looking at adding motion blur inside of the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now a while back I did a video on how to add motion blur in DaVinci Resolve and that was using the studio version, which is still the best alternative, it is going to be the fastest and the most accurate, but then again a bunch of people do not have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, so this video is for you. So as you can see, I'm going to go to my second clip here, and this does not have any motion blur. If I pause it here, as you can see, you can see all of the uh, little dust particles and uh, rocks uh, super easily. But if we come over to this clip, uh, if we come back, as you can see, these all have motion blur on them. And it has some weird patterns to it, but when it's being played back in uh, full speed, you can't really notice that too much. So let's go ahead and dive into how to do this. So for this, we're going to be using Fusion. And don't worry, this is going to be super easy to do if you guys are not used to Fusion. But in, anyways, let's go right over into that page. And now all you need for this is going to be two nodes. So we can do shift space to open up this little dialog here that will allow us to easily grab the nodes that we want. So first off, let's get the optical flow node, okay? And this, what this is going to be doing is going to be creating a vector file for this video that then can tell uh, our next node, which if we do shift space and type vector uh, motion blur, it'll be telling that what the movement is uh, so that it can add the motion blur to our video. So let's go ahead and take the media in and put this into the optical flow and then put the vector motion blur into the media out. And now as you can see, it doesn't change here, but that's because we don't have too much movement. So if we come forward uh, to uh, right about here, as you can see, we now have our motion blur. And over on the side here, we can change the different channels, okay? But we just want that vector X, vector Y uh, when using the optical flow. We could also flip the channels, but that'll look a little weird. And then we can also adjust the scale. So if we bring the scale up, there'll be more motion blur. If we bring it down, there'll be less motion blur. I'm just gonna leave it at the default of one. And then we can also come over to the optical flow node. And we have the proxy for tracking. Uh, so that'll uh, make some minor uh, improvements, just kind of up the quality a little bit. Uh, but usually that's fine at two. Uh, so let's come to the advanced. And now you can adjust these settings. So like the smoothness, the edges, uh, the match weight weighing, and a bunch of other things that you guys can play around with to get yours to look uh, perfect. All right, I'm just going to leave this how it is because I like that. And then all you have to do is come back to the edit page. And now as you can see, we have this red line above it. And once this turns blue, it'll be ready so that you guys can play it back uh, perfectly smooth. Uh, in real time just like this other clip here. Well anyways, thank you guys for watching. As you can see, this is a super easy effect to do, and if you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on more content just like this. If you guys want to support me further, I have a buy me a coffee link down below, so go check that out. Well anyways guys, I'll see you next time for another video.